Trojan family, Trojan family, what's up, man? USCJ here, man. Happy Friday to everybody, man. Happy Friday to everybody. Listen, I hope everybody's having a good Friday so far. Getting ready to get out, make it happen. Listen, man, we got some, we got some pretty good news. I will say this is some good news, man. Uh, for us as USC fan, this is some good news. And uh, you guys like, share, subscribe, USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Now, let me say this first and foremost. I want to give a big Happy birthday shout out to Corey. Corey is, uh, I think Corey, I think when I first started this YouTube a few months ago, what, four or five months ago, I think that Corey was like, he had to be like one of the first top 10 people, the first 10 people to even tap in and subscribe. And uh, today is his birthday, man. He's always tapping in with me um, on Instagram. We communicate back and forth. So I just want to say, look, man, happy birthday to you, big bro. Uh, have a good one. I hope you have a blessed one, man. Continue. Uh, to stay blessed, man. Listen, so uh, check this out. We want to talk about a couple of things. The Vegas inside, the Vegas, Las Vegas odds are out. The Las Vegas numbers are out. And look, we got, we're going to talk about it real quick. We're going to talk about it. But before I hit that, I want to shout out Sabias. Sabias, um, I'm friends with him on Instagram as well. I told you guys before, if you guys want to have direct communication with me, you can hit me in my inbox on Twitter at USCJ32, or you can hit me on my Instagram at USCJ32. You can hit me at either one of those, and I'll respond back to you um, uh, ASAP. They, you got the private messaging. It's different from the YouTube uh, messaging that comes because it's all, you know, it's public. But if you want to hit a direct message and there's anything you requested me uh, to talk about or do, uh, whatever the case may be, USCJ be on the case about it, all right? Uh, but Sabias, he hit me on my Instagram, and he said, USCJ, he said, I want you to uh, kind of address the uniform situation. And uh, Kayla Williams apparently... Uh, Kayla Williams, apparently, uh, he's requesting, he's pushing for new uniforms, man. And you see, uh, it, it's it, they got different uniform concepts that can possibly take place. Uh, but I want to know what you guys, what you USC fans, what you guys think uh, from a traditional standpoint. Do you guys want to break that tradition? I mean, what, what do you think? You guys probably seen in the thumbnail at the beginning of the video, I had two different concepts. You had, and one of them was uh, a, a black uniform, and then the other one was just a, the red uniform, but it had the kind of, the, the Rams type of uh, helmet on there, and then the Rams type of logos going across the shoulders. What do you guys think about new uniform concept? I mean, are you guys, are we so stuck in tradition that, that we want to stick with the same uniforms, or do we, are we willing to go with something a little bit different, man, from, uh, from, uh, from a uniform perspective? You look at Oregon, you look at, uh, you look at Oklahoma, you look at all these different schools. They, they, they continue to, to have different type of concepts, even Ohio State. I've seen them have the blackout. Notre Dame even has some, you know, the green, the, uh, the green, um, the, the, I call it the, the jolly green giant type of looking uniform. Um, the Irish uniform, they had that. And so what, what do you guys think? I mean, because there's only a few schools, if you look at like Alabama, Texas, uh, Michigan, Penn State, USC, they stick to their guns, man. They, they rarely, they rarely deviate from that. They, they rarely deviate from just, any type of other kind of uniform concepts, man. So you guys hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. And apparently, Caleb Williams is is kind of pushing for that. Do you think he? Uh, do you think he uh, has the juice to make that happen, or do you think if he wins a national championship, then he then he has something to present to the to the body as it relates to uh, the uniform concept, changing that up, man? You guys hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. USCJ, I'm gonna tell you personally. I, I just. I'm just old school with it, man, when it comes to USC uniform. They're one of the only ones to uh, to keep that tradition, man. You got Bama that does it, Penn State that does it, uh, USC, of course, that does it. And I'm not saying I'm against it, but I'm just saying I like the I like the tradition, man. I think that's the that's kind of the recognizable symbol that USC and the recognizable um, uniform that you never get away from. And you can kind of hold to that if you're a USC um uh, a player, fan, or whatever the case may be, you can kind of recognize USC for what they are. But when we start throwing these black on, all black on, and all that, you start wondering, well, you wondering if that Iowa State <laughs> or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But USC is very, you can recognize USC when you see them, man. So you guys hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe. 
UFCJ32 on Instagram, UFCJ32 on Twitter. Now, we about to get to the good stuff right now. Now we about to get to the good stuff. And what it is is the Las Vegas odds just came out. And we're going to talk about this real quick. You only got about what? You got about eight teams or you got about eight teams in there. Uh, I think it's eight teams. They put like the top eight teams in there and uh, the Las Vegas odds. And so we got about 50 days until the season starts. 50 days until the season starts. So two days ago, they just put it out. And so listen, the, you know, the closest one that they got now is to the season. And now they're putting out the real deal who they really, they're really believing that's going to have an opportunity to win a national championship. And here's the thing. I told you guys before. I told you guys before. When they, they have a system that they come up with, of course, that you do computer, computers, then you got to do the human element aspect of it. You got to do everything that I've been talking about throughout this show. You guys been listening to me for the past couple of months. You got to put all the production on the field. You got to put the players on the field. You couple that with the coaching and all the other aspects of coaching that you got to go along with that. And listen, you got to have a product on the field that you can, can, can compete, a product that you think is going to have an opportunity in Vegas. Listen, Vegas is not going to play with money. We've talked about this before. Vegas is not going to play with their money. So listen, you guys hit me in the comment section. Does Vegas have it right? We're about to go through this real quick. Does Vegas have it right? Hit me in the comment section. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe. USCJ32 on Instagram. USCJ32 on Twitter. So the first one that they got, uh, let me see. Do I want to hit it from the back or the front? Let me go. For, I'm going to go from the back first. I'm, I'm going to go from the back first and... uh. Well, well, I'm sorry, from the front first, because the way they got this list, they got it coming from the back. So the first the first one they got, they got um, Alabama number one um, as far as the uh, national championship odds. And so they got what they have is they had their their um, what they were previously as far as uh, they got what they were previously as far as um, national championship picture. And then they got uh, what they actually are now. So uh, Alabama, they first got. They were plus 200, plus 200. Now they're at plus 190. That's the first one. Number two, and I'm going to go to this real quick. You got Ohio State was plus 500. Now they're plus 350 to win the national championship. Next, you're going to have, let's see here. Next, you're going to have Georgia Bulldogs plus 350, and, now, and they're still plus 350. Next, you're going to have Clemson plus nine hundred and they're plus twelve hundred now. So it looks like their odds is going down a little bit. Uh, USC they're giving us looks like oh, I'm sorry this is Texas A&M. Uh, they have plus three thousand and then now that they're plus two thousand. So let's see USC they got plus twenty five hundred and then now they're plus uh, two thousand. Look like our look like our chances got a little bit better. Check this out. Oklahoma, you got plus 5,000, and uh, now they're plus 3,500. Their chances got a little bit better. Then uh, Notre Dame, you got plus 5,000. Then you now they're plus 4,000. And I think this is the last one. Texas, plus 5,000. Now they're plus 4,000. Michigan, plus 6,000. Now they're plus 5,000. And that's all of the teams. So you see, they got those teams up there. And so listen, man, I told you guys that Vegas is not going to play with their money, right? Vegas is not going to play with their money, man. So I need you guys to hit me in the comment section. USC is in the mix. USC is in the mix. And let me just let me just real quickly go over this real quick. It says, uh, for from Relative Rags, uh, by program standards, the abundance of riches, USC has completely transformed the outlook of the 2022 season with a vastly improved roster through the transfer portal, thanks to Riley. I've told you guys this. Nobody, you know, everybody said, oh, you can't just do it with a, with, a, with a roster through the transfer portal. Well, guess what? We don't plan to do it like that in the future, but guess what? We're doing it this year, and we're making it happen this year. This is how we're going to win this year. We had to do it. We had, we had some things that we had to change. You couple that with the players that we've already had. Listen, I told you guys. I said, look, USCJ have told you plenty of times. It is go time. It's on and popping. It's on and cracking. I told you guys that we have an opportunity to go to the playoffs. I don't see Utah on this list. Where's Utah at? Where's Oregon at on this list? Why are they not on this list? Come out, come out wherever you are. I told you, man, listen. USCJ knows what he's talking about. You got to use your thinking cap. You got to put the information in there. You got to compile it all together. And you're going to have a product. You're going to have results. 
So listen, man, I need you guys to hit me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe. I just want to drop this information on you real quick. Tell me what you think about the uh, the new uh, the new Oz release, and then tell me what you think about uh, about uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, uniform concept request by Caleb Williams. Man, like, share, subscribe. USCJ thirty two on Instagram. USCJ thirty two on Twitter. Fight on, fight on, fight on.